What is dynamic programming? Dynamic programming is basically one of the approach we used in computer science to solve a problem. So if you remember, we have one approach known as divide and conquer. Right. So what this approach does, we divide the problems and we conquer the result of each of the divided sub problems. So basic idea is to divide the problems into smaller chunks, resolve them individually and combine the solution to get the solution of a bigger problem. Right. So how we proceed for divide and conquer? If you remember, we use recurrence for that. So in a similar fashion, we have a different approach called dynamic programming. First of all, do not get confused with this word programming. This dynamic programming was invented by Feldman in some 1950s okay so basically at that time programming used to call as a table right everything we compute and put it in table so programming is basically tabular data so basically we apply this approach to fill tables right so we keep the store we keep the information in our table and then we use if when we required right so if you remember what is the basic idea is to divide a bigger problem into sub problems so let us suppose we have a bigger problem and we divided this into smaller chunks and we have some common sub problems some common part so if you remember in divide and conquer what we do we try to resolve this separately we try to resolve this separately we try to resolve this separately if you see this portion is twice resolved twice solved this portion is also twice solved so basically there are overlapping of some common sub problems right so at, if the sub problems overlap then we apply dynamic programming so to get least time for computation right and this dynamic programming is mainly applied to the optimization problem where we need to optimize right so sometimes this dynamic programming is also known as dynamic optimization right now let us see one of the example you know about this Fibonacci Fibonacci of any nth term will be summation of two previous term so if we want to compute Fibonacci of 6 we need to compute the Fibonacci of 5 and Fibonacci of 4 for 5 we need to compute for Fibonacci of 4 and Fibonacci of 3 for this 3 2 for this 3 2 this is 2 1 this is 2 1 this is 1 and 0 similarly this will be 2 1 1 and 0 so if you see this f4 computation here and this f4 computation here right so this f4 and f4 is twice solved and within this also this f3 and this f3 is also four times solved 
if we see this this is four times odd so the time complexity if we use this recursion and solve each time when we found this problem that is sub problems it will take much time so here we can apply the dynamic programming so how do we apply dynamic programming there are two approach one approach is bottom up approach that is we can use the bottom up manner to fill our table so whenever we encountered with the same sub problems which is already solved earlier we will directly use the value rather we solve it again right so in bottom up approach in top down we start from f6 and we start computing so when we are computing f4 we will first compute f4 and we memoize the result so top down always occur with memoization so what is memoization memoization word come from memo memo means something where we, we record the thing so we record the temporary result which is going to be used in the next iteration right so we will follow the top down using memoization means we we will start recording we will start storing our result not all the result which is going to be used the immediate result we are going to store in memoization but we are not solving the entire table in top down memoization but in bottom up approach we solve all set of possibility for that problem right in top down approach we mainly use array or hash table to store result so for memo we use data structure either array or hash table while in case of bottom up approach we generally take tables mostly functions use 2d tables right so how to solve this in a bottom up approach so in bottom up approach we know our base case fibonacci 0 is 0 fibonacci 1 is 1 so we will we have a table and we are computing 0 1 then after when we are computing this f2 we will use this table and we will pick up the value from the previous this two and we will add up when we are computing f3 we will use this table to pick up the previous value this will be 3 this will be 5 so in this fashion if we want to compute the 150th fibonacci we will start from bottom up that is we will start from f0 we have a base case f0 and f1 so we start from f2 and we will add up the previous one previous one so basically we required some optimal sub structure for this and it should be some overlapping sub problems then only we can apply this dynamic programming so as we can see we have overlapping sub problems here that's why we are applying dynamic programming here now what happened in top down in top down we start from computing f6 when we are computing f4 in this recursion method we use recursion method but with memoization so we store this value of f4 and we will use f4 when we want to compute here right so what is the generally time uh, general time complexity uh, for problems which is solved using dynamic programming this will become polynomial timing and while in naive approach like purely divide and conquer it will be somehow exponential not somehow it is exponential basically in my channel you can find 
more problem is solved using this dynamic programming approach the famous dynamic programming problem are like zero one knapsack problem matrix chain multiplication problem longest common subsequence which you can also find in corman book clrs hope you enjoyed it thank you have a nice day